but but yeah, it's like it's it's you know it's it's hard. It's hard to sit down in front of that computer and just come up with something out of nothing. That's a true statement. <laughs> I can agree with that 100. <laughs> percent So I'm um, looking at the Indiegogo way. I see. I like the actual various levels. And if you want to let people know, the difference between Indiegogo campaign and the Kickstarter campaign, in case people don't know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so with Kickstarter, it's you. If you do not meet your goal, you get none of the money. So then you're back to square one, essentially. Which sucks. Which sucks. Big time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just to be blunt. With Indiegogo, <laughs> you know, we do the campaign, um, and whatever money we actually do raise, we get to actually keep minus a fee that they take. Of course. Of um, course. <laughs> I, I think depending upon how much you get or little depends on the fees that they take. But, but at least it's something to start off with. That's true. It's a lot like almost like a Patreon kind of thing where at least you get to keep the money. <laughs> it's not a big deal, yeah. you know. So I, I actually was I actually like the um, five hundred dollar featured prize of a coffee date with Marilyn. I like that one. <laughs> I think that's cute. I'm gonna, you, know, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest. It's like somebody suggested it. You know, lunch, uh, either coffee date, lunch, or dinner, and 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 I was like. Ooh, dinner, it's kind of like a date, you know, it's like dinner kind of, you know, doesn't offer much in the way of the outs. <laughs> so I was okay with coffee or lunch, but then, <laughs> you know, and, and the price that we came up with, or that I came up with was much cheaper than that. And somebody was telling me that I should do it at 500 and then I had somebody else tell me a thousand. I'm like, Oh wait, you know, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't know that anybody's going to pay any of those amounts, but I'll go, I'll go with the 500 over a thousand. It's like, you know, We'll see if, if there seems to be a lot of interest. Then you know we can always add more. But it's really difficult to come up with a lot of the rewards that we had to offer because we didn't want to be. You know, we're, we're asking for donations to film our projects, so we didn't have want to be in a situation. It's like, all right, we, now we got to take some of those funds and purchase items, and also shipping and handling to be mailing out. So my, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult in that sense because it's like you're kind of defeating the purpose. I know exactly so what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to make it in a, in, a, in a way that what we have to offer can be done quickly. And efficiently and affordably. So the Indiegogo is a theory of letters, which I have. will have the link up in the on the website uh, for uh, for the website for Clerks Minute, and I will have it in our Facebook group, and I will also have it in the description of this post on your podcast feed. So you can go right down and click on the link and go help out this project right now as you're talking, as you're listening to this interview. So we'll do that. Uh, Thank you. I will do one more thing. I saw a promotion yeah. for it, San Diego Comic Con. What's going on for you there? Yeah, so oh gosh, you know, it, it, it's it's been an exciting year so far. So I can only hope that it just gets even better from here. Uh, but shooting clerks will be coming out to uh, San Diego Comic Con for the first time. Unfortunately, it will not be a screening of the film. It will be a Q and A panel for an hour on Thursday night at 6.45 to 7.45 in room 6A. Just got word last night that Ming Chen will be uh, joining us as well. I'll be there. Ryan James, uh, who's our Florida producer and uh, second unit, uh, as well as Christopher Downey, who is the writer and director and uh, the 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 uh, brains of this whole biopic shooting clerks, um, as well as some of the other cast and crew. Oh, very cool. I'm I, I'm excited for when they finally announce when this thing's going to be released, because they've been talking about it and talking about it. I even talked to somebody behind the scenes, and they said maybe this summer we can get it at least on demand so I can see this thing finally. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to it one day. You I really know, want to see it. I, I, I have not seen it either, so I'm oh, wow. looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> it's, I, you know, it's funny. I talk to Scott Halden all the time. We text a lot now because we're friends now. That's like you do. And he's uh -huh. like, and we were, I think I talked to him. I was out in Garfield, my hometown. And he, the home of Scott Yama. Uh -huh. I should tell you about that. And I was out there for an event. And he's like, I'm in town. So we did an interview. And we chit-chatted. And he's like, 
yeah, I've seen the movie now. I'm like, how do I get a copy? Like, <laughs> I, I do this. I know. I, he's seen six copies. How? Like, how do you do that? I don't get it. <laughs> I know. You're in the thing and you well, can't I see know, it. Like, most of the screenings have taken place back east. And because, I, you know, I live yeah. out in L.A. now for the last 21 years, I don't have the luxury of, uh, you know, just kind of picking up and going out there. <laughs> I've been joking around. Like, can you come to Chicago? Like, I'm in Milwaukee. Like, I could go to Chicago for a screening. I'll grab Kyle. We'll go. We'll do a special edition of the show talking about it. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'll say well, that now. I Hopefully they hear that. that. A couple of the screenings that they had were at uh, film – excuse me, at film festivals in Tampa, Florida. Um, and they were, you know, they were rough cuts from what I understand, but, but still, you know, just to kind of get an idea and, and uh, a feeling of how the audience would take it. So I think that that was a smart move. That's in true. Itself. That is true. So, all right, that's everything we got here. And I thank you, Marilyn, for taking time out. This is actually a really big deal for me because this, we don't do returning guests really on our show because – where we're usually talking the movie and you're not in the second movie. So <laughs> I wasn't going to reach out, but with this going on, I'm glad to have you back. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. No, no problem whatsoever. Like I said, everybody, Indiegogo, it's the link you can do on your podcast player right now. Click on the link and go give them money to help with this project. It's a big deal and go take care of it, help them out. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marilyn. And Thank you so much for listening to the Clerks Minute Summer Series. We'll be back next week to continue on with the animated series. Um, thank you so much, Marilyn, for coming on. Thank you. I'm Blake. Have a good day, everybody. Noinch, noinch, noinch. Smoking weed, smoking weed. Doing coke, drinking beers. Drinking beers, beers, beers. Rolling fatties, smoking blunts. Who smokes the blunts? Who smoked the blunts? Rolling blunts and smoking